Hi, once again this is Ed from Exotic Blanks. Today's video has a couple of different purposes. First of all, we'd like to introduce our between center bushings, which are made in the United States. I'm happy to say we found someone who can make them and make them to our specifications and also be price competitive. So it's a wonderful thing to find someone, and he is a small business guy, so everybody uh, please buy these things. He's uh, he can use the support, and we enjoy supporting Americans when we can. The set of bushings we're using today are going to be the um, Sierra style. And as you can see, there's no hole through it. It's strictly a turn between center bushing. It's got a 60 degree in, inset in each end. And they fit very nicely into the, um, the brass tube. This particular one is a snakeskin. Uh, this week we've had a few questions on snakeskins and how can you avoid separation and so forth. So I'm also doing this for that purpose, to show turning snakeskins. Um, as you can see, when you put it on the lathe, the bushings are turning absolutely perfectly. There's no wobble whatsoever. Uh, it's really a nice experience to put those in and get started uh, turning the blank. It, it's very, very simple, and it was, it was a real joy to turn this thing. If you have trouble when you turn these clear resin blanks and you find that you're having catches and that kind of thing, one thing you can do with these bushings is leave them in a little bit loose so that if you do get a catch, they'll actually stop the motion instead of having it drive and, and therefore tear it apart. If you loosen up your two ends a little bit so that if you get a catch, it will stop the blank then uh, you don't have to worry about tearing up blanks. Um, it's a little more difficult to turn that way, but it will save your blank, and it will also teach you to turn better. In actual time, it took me about three minutes to turn this blank. Uh, of course, I turned both directions, and, and the lathe is going at 3,800 RPM, so I admit that I probably get it done faster than most. But the point is that you don't have to take off a lot of material to be able to get it done in a reasonable period of time. If you're used to turning things, they take 10 or 15 minutes. This should be no problem. Uh, once we're finished and you look at the, um, the turned blank, you see that it's still good and tight at both ends. There's no air in it. The only thing we have to do is take off the two ends that are still clear resin because when they are cast, they are a little bit longer than the actual tubes are. So we take off those two ends, and I do that on a sanding disc, as you see here. Although the punch is a little bit smaller diameter than my tube, I keep pressure on the tube uh, to the punch with my index fingers. If you watch, you see both index fingers are pushing against the tube, against the uh, uh, punch, so that everything stays square. So your punch doesn't have to be exactly the same size as the inside diameter. Uh, it's not a bad idea, but I'm, I don't change the thing. I just use the same one all the time. And, as long as you keep pressure on it so that you're uh, keeping your blank square to the face, you're fine.
Hmm. <clears throat> 